This is a ZNS News update. Good afternoon, I'm Keishla Adderley. In the headlines today, Prime Minister Hubert Ingram today launched the Teachers Aid Program, which is part of the Job and Skills Training Initiative. The government plans to make the role of Teachers Aids a new profession in the Ministry of Education. Now, educators say Teachers Aids help shore up the management and order of classrooms. There are 328 Teachers Aids enrolled in the 52-week program. Prime Minister Ingram says while many aides will be attracted to the teaching profession, he also wants to ensure that teachers Teachers' aides continue on their own career paths and will ensure that they do so. The Bahamas Business Outlook officially underway at the Wyndham Nassau Resort in Cable Beach today. Officially opening the event, Minister of State for Finance, Shervago Lang, who told the business community that the country is more ready than ever before to do business in the 21st century. The state minister also defended the national debt, saying that the Bahamas has a relatively low debt-to-GDP ratio compared to other Caribbean countries. And the Progressive Liberal Party has ratified its slate of 38 candidates for the 2012 general elections. Only ZNS News was at the opposition's Farrington Road headquarters last night as the party's final four candidates were ratified. They are Dr. Perry Gomez for North Andros in the Barry Islands, Picewell Forbes for Mangrove Key and South Andros, Damian Gomez for Central and South Eleuthera, and Dion Smith for Nassau Village. Party leader Perry Christie said the process of selecting candidates began right after after the 2007 general elections. This has been your ZNS News Update. I'm Keisha Adderley. Good afternoon.